just celebrated 50 years of women at Bowdoin. And there were five women honored, one of them with honorary degrees. One of them was Joan Benoit Samuelson. And I was able to interview her about her life as I was trying to put together a talk on what is it that unleashes the potential that every person has. What are the factors that play into that? And for Joan, um, when Title IX passed, she was a sophomore in high school, and she was running track. But she was on the club track team because there wasn't such a thing as a varsity uh, girls track team. So at the time, the longest race she was even able to compete in was an 800 meter. Now this is a woman who, uh, with the passage of Title IX, she had so much talent in her. By her junior year, she was practicing with the boys' varsity team as they formed varsity play for girls. Uh, a few years later, she's at Bowdoin. And in her junior year, rather than going abroad like so many students at a college like Bowdoin do, she got one of the very first Title IX scholarships to go, as she called it, on her year away, uh, her trip abroad, she went to North Carolina to train and compete with the most elite female runners in the nation. That gave her her start. And it was totally tied, not just to the opportunity of Title IX, but to the funding for this scholarship to give her this experience. And uh, it was only a few years later, 1984, where Joan Benoit Samuelson was the gold medalist in the first ever women's Olympic marathon. Think about how her world would have been different without that opportunity, without this really seismic change in opportunities for women.